When killer clowns are on the prowl, survival is far from guaranteed. Likewise, you can have all the cotton candy spewing ray guns at your disposal, but those pesky humans are clever and will find all sorts of ways to slip away. Regardless of which side of the interstellar circus you find yourself on, we've put together these tips to make sure you are the one that's laughing at the end. Obviously, half the fun of being a clown is killing humans with a barrage of pies. However, clowns are at their weakest at the start of a match. It's smarter to focus on gathering up cocoons and bringing them to the lackey generator. Not only will this generate lackeys, but it will also speed up how quickly the various clown powers become available and how soon the match ending clown apocalypse arrives. Carrying the cocoons slows you down, but you can speed things up by throwing and chasing them. You can also throw them at humans as a ranged attack. Also, if you have lackeys, you can drop a pod in front of them and they will carry them to the lackey generator for you, though you may need to actually hook it. The cotton candy gun is a staple weapon of the clowns. Not only is it effective for taking out humans, but it turns them into pods and can be hung from the lackey generators to progress them. The only drawback is that it takes a while to candyfy people. And that's why whenever you can, you should try to combine your fire with another clown. This bit of backup causes the blast to become boosted, which increases how fast the humans get trapped by an enormous margin. It may be tempting to use your clown jump any chance you get to quickly hop around the map, but if you're clever and save that for strategic moments, you're better off. Look for the warning signs that a lackey has encountered a human. Better yet, use it in a chase to box in the would-be escapee, allowing you and your outer space clown posse to surround them for a finish. Humans will do whatever they can to try to escape, selfishly robbing clowns of their next snack. As you search the map, keep an eye out for various escape routes, like the bunker or motorboat. Make a mental note of where they are so you can keep an eye on them and load them up with cotton candy. This will make it take much longer for humans to clear it off and escape, and you'll get a solid bit of XP as a bonus. As scary as the clowns may be, they actually aren't that tough in a one-on-one -on -one fight. That doesn't mean you should go picking the fights, though. Clowns will respawn, humans won't. All it takes is one wrong move, and you're being hung on a lackey generator or launched into the stratosphere. Save the action for when you're cornered or have a chance to save another person or if the clown is between you and your chance to escape. People run faster than clowns, so running is a great first option, but be sure to run around objects and corners to break line of sight. This improves your chances of getting away, can help you avoid clown jumps, and keep the cotton candy ray from building up. But remember, there are times you might want to be seen. If clowns are between you and the resurrection machine, or blocking your path to escape, then making some noise and leading them away from your destination while you circle around can be the ticket out of this horror show. Sharp objects are essential, and you should prioritize finding and holding them as much as you possibly can. You can use things like knives to fight clowns, even temporarily taking them out by knocking them down and popping their nose. It's also a get out of jail free card if you've been cocooned. Just wait until the coast is clear, then use it to carve your way out of the cotton candy pod. If you don't survive on the battlefield, this should also become your focus in the mini game, ensuring others have a fighting chance to either bring you back or make their own escape. The maps are big, with several different potential escape routes, all of which require different objects to enable your getaway. You won't know where everything is right away, so rather than slowly lugging the first gas can you find all over the place, spend the first minutes of the match searching drawers and making note of important locations. As time passes and the clowns get more abilities and lackeys, this will become more difficult. So if you get a lay of the land early, then when you find some spark plugs or a key card, you know exactly where to go with them. And that can make all the difference. For more asymmetrical horror, make sure to head on over to IGN.com to check out our Killer Clowns The Game wiki. And of course, for everything else video games, stick with IGN.